Alright, yeah, I'm gonna rest. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need some more coffee after this. Half asleep, a tide of deafening whispers assails you, chopping away at your senses, at your mind's understanding of itself. The roar is louder in each passing night. Their attacks are brazen, less confined in your subconscious. The feel your voice fights its way into the new hey. to you. Hey! You gotta stop it with that. About punched you to snap you out of it. You were saying things, but there weren't any words I ever heard. You were shaking so hard I thought you'd crack your spine. What happened to the bucket of cold water? And there shrugs and looks away, concealing his smile poorly. Things haven't improved. My mind is so maybe going. I'd have woken you sooner, but I thought it'd be nice for you to be able to close your eyes a bit. Don't last long without sleep. You're twitchy these days. Reminds me of Mayerwald more than I like. Anything I can do, you just let me know. Hey, what's up, Sean? How's it going? Stop this from Hang on a little longer. We'll get you fixed up. <sighs> Trying to finish up this game. I'm like right at the very end, but it's just getting to the point where it's like all the fights are aggravating. Run, dog, run. Oh, we're not going to make it. He's not going to make it. Hey. What? I'm ready. I make these formations for a reason. All right, come on. Yo. Anything over here? Nope.
not getting through me. Of course. Safe enough for us to move in. Quick save. Fucking shoot me. Oh my gosh. Keep an eye out. Destroyed. A column of Ija rises above you. Still, can style in a rigid layers of measuring that stick for the passing ages. It feels as a it feel, it feels to you as thick block of ice, and you. Perceive buried deep in the core a dim flickering flame, all but extinguished yet preserved against the ravages of the elements. As you, at your approach, the flame seems to steady and draw strength, and the layers separating it from you melt away. You are bathed in its glow in a beacon in the gloom. The glow seems to fade as though you had adjusted to its intensity. And where it was, Ivora seeps into existence. The idolic shade hovering above the moist prison floor. Though ageless, she appears somehow different to you now. A slight stoop in her carriage, perhaps, or a trance of sunkenness in her eyes. There is a broad scar across her face, fibrous and wormy, where flames were lapped, unhealed even in death. Mild pupil. You are a welcome sight, but a worrying one as well. Do you still wander lost in the darkness after all these many years? You are so different now from who you were then, yet much remains the same. Old troubles with a new face. What is it that has brought you here? It was seen that I have unfinished business here. I'd hoped after our last discussion you would find what you sought. Has it eluded you all this time? I can only guess your presence here has something to do with Theos. The energy of this place changes when he is near. I don't know what he has done, but I do know of the souls that pass through here now. They do not come by choice. After all this time, he would still stand against the tide. You knew me when Theos did. There's something I need to know about that time. I will tell you what I remember. There's something about that lifetime my soul can't let go of. I need to know what it is, and I'm running out of time. I see moments from that life of you, of the Inquisition of Theos. I can see his influence still hanging like a weight about your neck. 
so it always was. He had inspired something in me. We spoke of him the last time you were here also. It was just after the trial. You were agitated. I think because you started to consider that what I was teaching may have been true. And what was that? Avara's mouth tightens and her brows furrow. A look of pity. Her eyes shift back and forth between each of yours as if looking for something that would help her decide whether to speak. That the gods aren't real. Ha 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 ha. Of course not. It all makes sense now. <laughs> I dreaded the idea from the moment the Delamgon suggested it. And yet, it almost feels like a relief. She's not serious. <laughs> Perhaps not for her. Many are those whom the gods have scorned. This is petty retribution. But that's not... Is that the truth we've come for? That even the gods are false? What I taught was that the gods whose faith we had been spreading were not gods at all, but something else entirely. Something created by people. Who created these gods and for what? They were conceived by Enquin, a society of high minds and broad concerns. Theos' people. In their time, every people worshipped its own gods. Sometimes they warred over it. After a few wars of their own, the Enquithans sought an end to it. They devoted all their energy to finding the true creators. Generation after generation, they prodded and worked the stitching of the world and unlocked its secrets. One day, they found an answer. Except the answer was no answer at all. There were no gods to be found. Or if there ever were, they were gone. It shook them, this finding. If they could discover this on their own, how long until others would? How long before war and chaos reigned over a world without consequence. But they had mastered many things in their pursuit of these answers. And with their mastery, they crafted their own gods to fill the void, and sent missionaries to the corners of the world to spread their faith. How did you discover this? The Anguithan missionaries all knew it, but they never told the rest of us. I guess. They meant it to be a secret that died with them. And in the end, they allowed their bloodlines to fade from memory. I had been assigned to join a few of them at a temple. I found the door to their chambers closed, but the room was stone and the door thin. Their voices carried. I heard enough. I investigated the things they spoke of, and everything was there, just as they said it'd be. Yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. My head's starting to hurt. Later on, after I left the order that a few Inguithans found of my words persuasive and joined my cause, they revealed what I did not already know. I never thought of it as faith, but I think you are right to call it that. Let the world see. Let them decide what to do. That was my faith. I became a missionary because the gods brought me hope that I wanted to bring to others. For a time, the truth sent me to a dark place. Then the day came when I realized nothing had changed, that I still had a purpose, and the purpose was the same and it was worth living for. I began questioning the other missionaries in public, exposing their parlor tricks. In time, their following became mine. Even was I guess I actually I need to get some time a little. Is it true what you taught? You asked me this once before. Nothing I can say would be any proof, and it may be certainty your soul craves. 
resolution. But if you are bound for the same place Thales directs these souls, you will see for yourself, as you once did. Everyone faces this truth at one time or another. Few confront it. Few have the stomach to ask what is. And in avoiding the question, they deny themselves an identity of their own. Aurora scans her audience in silence, her eyes thoughtful, lingering on each member of your company in turn, finding interest in things unseen. What if all the tragedy, all the persecution, came in defense of an imposter? But that's not... That, that can't be right. Aethys, he... He's done miracles for people. The power of the gods is undeniable. The truth of the story they weave is not. What if it were forbidden knowledge rather than fault that earned your doom? What of your guilt? Margren set a path for me. She is fickle and cruel, but that is how she teaches. You know nothing of the fires that have shaped me. And what if the fires themselves were lies? Lies you told yourself to bridge the gap between experience and truth. Beads of sweat callous on during his forehead and trickle down the sides of his face and streaming rivulets as though he were a block of ice standing before a great pyre. What if you had always been alone, without guidance? Well, as poorly as I've chosen my guides, I suppose it would be a comfort to know that I'm free of them. The freedom has always been. It was the guidance that was the illusion. If all our common threads are spun from a lie, what's left to bind us together? I... I don't know. I never found the answers I sought. But after all we have seen, I think the gods are not enough. Perhaps the threads are unraveling. The lie is too old. I think maybe we are all meant to be divided. Every effort, every search for a single truth will end in failure. Because there is no single truth. We seek simple answers where there are none. Threads spun from falsehoods tend to unravel on their own, my friend. For it is in our natures to seek truth. What if even mastery over all things cannot answer the most basic of questions? I stopped asking those questions long ago. It is enough to care for those we love with the time we have in this life. If we can be assured of nothing, then all we can do is endure. The wheel of wood seemed to grant us little choice in the matter. Yet surely we are capable of more than mere endurance. Surely when the truth is laid bare to all, this suffering can truly be overcome. I ask these things not to trouble you, but to show why they must be confronted. No answer is simple, but somewhere between them all lies a truth so beautiful, not even a god could conceal it. Do we not owe ourselves a chance to find our part in it? We do. Even without assurances, there is still truth. If that is truly what you believe, then you are a far different person than the one I knew. I've been alone here with my thoughts for so long now. I found peace with my failures and with my punishment. I no longer curse fate for what might have been. But there is one thing that has clawed and scraped at my mind all these years. One thing that will not be put to rest until I know. Until I understand. I need to know why you chose to remain with the Inquisition. Even after you'd learned the truth. Do you... Do you remember?
This one's tough. I was afraid of what Theos might do to me if I didn't agree to do it. Would have gifted him a great many things, but his ability to manipulate was always his own. The things I taught, the things I believed, I needed to hear that. I needed to know it wasn't because... I needed to know it wasn't because... Because I doubted you? Or because what? I need to know it wasn't because after everything you learned, you'd still rather believe in a lie. If that is a conclusion people reach once they know everything, then my purpose had been a mistake. Did my opinion matter so much to you? You were a blank slate to me once. A blank slate that I had taught the wrong things. I'd given you a false faith. I had to know I could undo what I had done. Redirect you to embrace the truth. You had heard both sides, seen everything. If not you, then who? You were... Um, I see your point. I'm aware of the thought of trying to learn so much from so little. I've had time to consider that in all its facets. But in the end, it was all I had. Even knowing what you've told me, some part of me knows it doesn't truly answer what I wished to know, nor will an eternity of silent contemplation. I will have only my guesses and suspicions, and that will have to do. And what of your understanding of our past? Are you at ease with the choice you made? I see the world differently now than I once did. I regret what I did to you and I wish your forgiveness. There is nothing to forgive. The fault was always mine. I led you down the path that led to Theos. When I tried to steer you back, it was too late. To have taught someone wrong is far worse than to have done wrong yourself. Long have I wished to make amends for this, but the time has long since passed. At first, I thought this might be the source of your soul's anguish. But now I see I was mistaken. You are not divided on this matter. You have put it behind you. It is with Theos that your agony lies, in sun and shadow. Your questions are not for me, but for him. And it may be that only an answer from the mouth of Theos himself will satisfy your need. Yet if there is anything I can tell you that would be of use, Ask and you shall know. I'm going to get this to tell me what I need to know. You will not find a more resolute being on all of Aeora. There is no offer you could make, nor spell you could cast, nor pain you could inflict that would make him reveal what he hides. But I see you have become a watcher in this light. Perhaps in defeat, when he can no longer defend himself, you might learn something. Are you bound here until the end of time? In that you speak. This is Freya Fionn, the court of the penitents. Souls are confined here until they repent. They must beg the forgiveness of a god, pledge their soul to them, and they will be lifted from this place to the world above. In truth, they receive leniency, but not true mercy. The spite of Wittica is eternal. They linger above the side of the old court, and are not permitted to leave the island, forever severed from the cycle. This prison was full once in the days of the Inquisition, but time weathers all things, even will. I'm the only tenant who remains. Yet, I feel their presence strongly now, as it was in the beginning. You have brought many of them here. Cry out for the judgment of Theos. 
You have struck some bargain with the gods, then. The other gods aid me because they want Theos destroyed. I owe them a no debt. They aid you because they would bend you to their own purposes. Anguish builds gods from ideals, and an ideal on its own is a grotesque and vicious thing. But these souls, these forgiven the gods have bequeathed you like chattel. They were loyal followers in life. They will be with you to the very end. Why don't you repent? You could be free of this place. Last time someone asked me that, I was bound to an iron wheel with a broken spine. There are many things I've come to doubt about the choices I made in life. But that trial was my one moment of certainty. Even without a chorus of gods to tell me I had been right. The gods need to be reminded that we have a spirit, and that spirit is proof against their power. They have the power to manipulate and confuse and ruin us, but not to change our will. I will remain here until the world crumbles and fades from existence with joy in my heart, knowing I've shown them what they truly are. It's time for me to go. Theos will not wait for you. If you do not catch up to him now, you may never find him again. If you haven't planted doubt in my mind long ago, I'd be living a normal life right now. Before I go, I will pay you for this curse now. The gods have given me the souls of their forgiven. If you repent, you could join them. Help me strike the final blow against Theos. If I repent, all I have done has meant nothing. All right, my well. part in leading you to Theos in the very beginning. I hope you can forgive. I hope whatever final guidance I've given you here proves more useful. If ever we should meet again, in this life or any other, I hope to find you at peace.